Exactly. New technology being developed at Ohio State is allowing doctors to develop new and better cancer treatments around the world. Our Ben Gelbert takes a look at why it matters this evening. Ohio State researchers are studying the intricate structure of materials to improve cancer therapy. This piece of material contains many billions of fine nanofibers making up this surface. And that has biomedical advantages to us because the cells in your body also see very fine nanoscaled fiber. This is allowing us to look at the migration of cells away from a tumor. Nanofibers solution scientist Jed Johnson dissolved plastic pellets in a polymer solution to create tiny nanofibers. A thousand clumped together are only the width of a single human hair. To make nanofibers, we apply 25,000 volts to a polymer solution. Fibers eject out, collect onto the wheel, and that's what we use to study brain cancer. Instead of using those hard surfaces we remember from chemistry class, nanofiber technology creates a softer fibrous material, the kind cancer cells see in a human body. There's a, there's a huge amount of effort in developing new anti-cancer drugs. Um, most of those drugs fail. Most of them do not have an effect on the patient. And one of the reasons we think that happens is because those drugs are developed in this type of environment, a polystyrene environment, as opposed to a nanofiber environment provide an alternative to this that is much more realistic and can be used in the laboratory without using laboratory animals to try to understand how to treat diseases and looking at cancer and how to prevent the spread of tumors from the primary side of the tumor to other areas in the body. Ben Gelber, NBC4, Columbus. Now this research is being conducted in conjunction with the James Cancer Center. For more information on what researchers there are working on, you can head to NBC4i.com and search Cancer Research.